So I'm back with another award recipient. This is Jesus. This is my man, Jesus Puerto, if you guys don't know. Now, Jesus, you have a restaurant that you're in an anniversary. Now, I just found out found out that this restaurant's in Connecticut, right near Yale, and I gotta give a shout out to my brother because he's a Yale alumni, oh, right on. which is really cool. So tell me about this restaurant that you have going on right now for the Cuban, correct? Cuban yeah. food. Yeah, Cuban food. It's called Sol de Cuba Cafe. Right. And my restaurant's been, we're in January, I'm celebrating 18 years there, uh, a block away from, from the entrance of Yale, showcasing Afro-Cuban culture, uh, most of the story is a story of my family, my mm -hmm. family's an my ancestry, uh, coming to the Tampa Bay area in the late 1800s and playing a role in Cuba's independence from Spain. Love it. Right? And that's showcased through memorabilia on the walls. But in addition to that, my ancestors not only bought over the recipes that I use in the restaurant, okay. you know, which are like over 100 years old, yeah. but also uh, their spirituality. And part of their spirituality uh, included the worship and honor of what we know of in Christianity as the Black Madonna. So we we have images of Oshun, of Yemaya, of the different what we call the Santos or the Orishas in my restaurant, which I've been showcasing in a very positive way, as as a part of the the cultural experience that I want my audience to come to understanding. So it is kind of educational, but we're not prophesizing. You know, we're just trying to show them, you know, what what true Afro-Cuban culture has been is about. Yeah. And when I met uh, the our host here tonight, Alessandra, Alessandra Belloni, somewhere around here. You know, we became very, very good friends. This is almost 15 years ago, and we were introduced by the lady uh, Shayla Spencer. Right. Uh, and uh, Alessandra, uh, I learned of her work uh, and her vision to bring. Uh, light to the story of the Black Madonna of Italy, right. but also how that, that story has these threads that traveled with the migration of the Italian people all over the world. But here we are as well, and why was with this, uh, the story of Oshun and Yemadia, uh, as well as the Christian versions of right. the, La, La Virgin de la Caridad de Cobre mm -hmm. in, in Spanish Cuba, right. and La Virgin de Regla, which are the same stories, but um, our ancestors who were uh, a part of the African movement, the slave trade that came over, right. had to cover up that knowledge. But Alessandro seeks, and I seek to bring more awareness uh, of the knowledge, of the blessings, um, of the sacredness of this. And uh, she has uh, done an amazing job oh, yeah. by way of her music, right. you know. And so I've been working. We've we've sponsored her. We brought her to to New Haven to to do it. You know, to, to I produced a theatrical event there for her. As, and her community, and we've worked on um, projects in Hawaii, and we look forward to bringing her, you know, working together at some point in Cuba. Oh, I love it. And so I, we assume that this is all about Italian heritage, but our sound is actually honoring people that really made a difference difference. I can even say that too. Really made a difference in the Italian community. And I'm glad you cleared up Black Madonna because, you know, most people be like, Black Madonna? So you're talking about Lenny Kravitz, but you actually cleaned that up. I, I just have to say that right there. But this is an amazing event that you're a part of right now. Amanda yeah. Sante, I don't know the Pioni. How honored you to be amongst these legendary people that you're getting award with as well? You know, I just sell rice and beans, man. <laughs> so I, what I'm doing here, I, you know, I don't know. I, 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 I hope that our little, our work makes a contribution to humanity. We really do. Me and my team in there in New Haven uh, and soon here in New York. We hope so. And that um, we hope that the message we can, that we bring through honoring our ancestors, gives some sense of inspiration and light and hope to our young people. You know, we have challenges in our urban communities today that yeah. I feel like if they ha you know if we have a little greater sense of who we really are what we really come from that we will have a, a brighter idea about where we're going and that's what I that's what it's about for me and Alessandra and I working together just makes that more uh, more powerful yeah she has several of her or several of Alessandra's songs are fusion you right. know between uh, in an honor of uh, Yemaya and Oshun. So she's fusing Southern Italian 
and and it. West African uh, traditions. It's amazing, well, you know, and it. we know that that to be true in Sicily and the southern part of Italy. But it's you know hard, hard you know you're not going to find a lot of people who are willing to be so open and 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 to, to cherish it and honor her in such a way. So I honor her for her amazing work. Well, I love that you guys are giving back to each other. Yeah. And I love where you're going with this because I know where we're going right now. I'm seeing some Italian food on That's the table. Right. <laughs> Me and him are about to get something to eat. If you guys don't know, this is Jesus Puerto right here at the fundraising event in Local 92 in the East Village in New York City.